Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope everybody's having a great day. Got another fun little video for you. I've been looking forward to this one. I had mentioned a couple times that I picked up a box at auction. Um, this is it. It was labeled 1985 Leaf Donruss. It does say Clemens on it. It says set 260 and it was a 260 card set as opposed to the Donruss, which was 660 cards plus puzzle. However, it was a non-sports card type auction, so I was a little concerned because sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. And there was no pictures of the actual cards themselves or inside, so I bid on it accordingly knowing that, and I actually won it for $12 Canadian, which, you know, is less than 10 bucks US for those of you watching down south. So I think there's a risk that it's not a complete set, but for less than 10 bucks, I was willing to take that gamble. So obviously... The big rookie cards in here are um, Roger Clemens and Kirby Puckett. So hoping to see them both and hoping that they're in good condition. So let's break into it and take a look. I uh, I haven't even opened it. I wanted to, but I haven't snuck a look. So there we go. At least it's packaged nice. Let's take a look. Set this off to the side. I'm just gonna lean them so that they're kind of back on the puzzle pieces anyway. So Diamond King's checklist and another check on the checklist. We got Ryan Sandberg. So condition's not too bad. Obviously the edges are a little bit bad. Lou Whitaker, Don Mattingly, that's a pretty nice one. I'll sleeve some of these up later. Just looking for those two big rookie cards first. There's also Doc Gooden in here as well. Cal Ripken Jr. They seem to be centered, which is good. Jim Rice, Frank Viola. Tony Pena, Tony Gwynn, a little bit off top to bottom, okay, looking good so far, seems to be in order, so that's a good sign, Steve Kiefer, Joe Morgan, Oral Hershiser. I believe that's his rookie card. George Foster. Robin Yount. I didn't check beforehand which numbers... Uh, the Puckett and the Clemens are. Guess it'll be a surprise when I come across it, hopefully. Ozzy Smith. That's nice. Well, and some off centered here. Storm Davis, Willie Randolph, Jim Beatty, Rafael Ramirez. All right. I'm hoping I don't. I don't want to pull out too many at a time here. I want to try to handle these just in case that the rookies are in here and they're in good shape. Don't want to overhandle it. Steve Sachs, Tony Fernandez. Should have checked what the numbers were. 
Sammy Stewart. There we go. Roger Clemens. Roger Clemens, 85 Leaf rookie card. Does have a little ding on the edge up there, just a little, a little bit of a ding. And the edge, the edges aren't in the best shape. But number 99. But I don't have one in my collection, so nice to have. Tom Seaver. David Palmer, Kirby Puckett, there we go. Nice, so centering's off left to right a little bit, not terrible. Top, go top to bottom is uh, really good. Back doesn't look too horrible. Corners. They're not perfect, but you know what? I think it's a good PC card. I would say for what I paid for this set, I am happy to have both of these and add them to my PC. That's awesome. There we go. Now, see what else we have in this set. I don't know. Actually, I'll sleeve up this Oral Hershizer. I know, I don't know if that's a rookie card or not. I don't know if it's worth anything. I will have to check later or else you guys can let me know in the comments below. So I do know with the Leaf set versus the Donruss set, obviously 260 cards versus 660. There's a lot of cards that aren't in here. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping to see like a Nolan Ryan um maybe uh ricky henderson those would be nice to have as well but i have no idea if they're in here or not so we will find out mookie wilson willie mcgee dave winfield rod carew phil necro this Dave Winfield and Don Mattingly two for the title Jack Morris Pete Rose that one looks to be in pretty good shape problem with having this set who knows how long they've been in this box like when I look at it with a little bit of light shining through there are definitely some surface scratches and stuff so I mean these cards aren't gonna be extremely high grade but they're they're good PC cards I think wasn't expecting perfection for ten bucks just wanna just want a space filler for Carlton Fisk, off-centered though. Space filler for the PC. Daryl Strawberry, a little off, left to right. Spike going, Dave Parker. Reggie Jackson. George Brett off left to the right though. Wade Boggs also a little off left to right. Bought it for those two rookie cards, but it's good to see all these other Hall of Famers and stuff in here as well. Rolly Fingers. Ooh, it's getting really off centering now. Ken Griffey Sr. Condition wise, I mean, these cards are just so tough with these black borders. Eddie Murray, Goose Gossage, Ricky Anderson. There we go. 
Looks pretty nice. Edges are a little bit of something going on there and off top bottom. Not bad. Johnny Ray, Julio Franco, Nolan Ryan. A little bit of whiting on the corner. Centering's a bit off. Tim Raines. Dale Murphy. All right, the last little stack here. See what uh, finishes up this, this set. Harold Baines. Doc Gooden. That's a rookie card. I'll go back through and sleeve up all the Hall of Famers. Gary Carter. And then I'll keep the set together. George Bell. Canadian Greats. Dave Steep. And then Tim Raines, Canadian Greats. Obviously this is leaf only card. It's not in the Donruss set. Ron Darling, Doug Flynn. That's it. We got the puzzle card, the Lou Gehrig. And it comes with uh, puzzle pieces as well. I don't know if the complete set's here. Yeah, looks to be the complete set of the puzzle. Awesome. Well, I definitely, I think I uh, got my money's worth. All in all, I was after these two and they were in there. I was quite happy about that. They are going to be nice PC additions. So don't know if I ever uh, will get them slabbed or not. Maybe. Not sure what the kind of minimum grade I would need to be for it to make sense. Don't know if it actually would meet that, but you never know. I might keep the set together and then if I happen across a good deal on one of these already slabbed, maybe I switch them out and kind of have an ongoing set that I upgrade. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Definitely, I don't think you can argue that I uh, got a good deal here. Got my money's worth, so uh, I'm quite happy with it. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.